friends, welcome to the video. Today we are gonna talk about what I learned my first year of going after being a full-time potter as like my career. So it's been about a whole year since I've been doing this and did not make full-time income, but I was basically full-time, time-wise, a potter this past year. So let's talk about the five things I learned this year. First thing I learned this past year was it's going to take so much slower than you realize. I feel like the videos are like, yeah, it's gonna take slow, it's gonna be slow, it's gonna take time, but I don't know. I just expected it to be a little bit quicker <laughs> than it was. I didn't expect it to take so much time. But your first year is like your growth year. You're learning so much and growing so much to where if you blew up, I think it would actually be harder because you're just trying to learn how to build a business, how to grow a business, how to do videos, how to do art on top of all this. You're learning so much. So even though it felt like it was taking so long and so slow, and I'm still working, I'm still not at the goals I wanna be, I'm still working towards it. That slowness is so good. It's time to get let you grow, let you learn, and allow you to get to the level you need to be for when your art does grow up, blow up, you'll be ready. You'll be ready for all of it. And uh, so even though the growth, the slow growth can be annoying and can suck because it feels like you're just talking to the abyss and nothing is moving. Um, there's actually so much happening, especially in the background energetically. You're just learning how to be a business owner, how to grow, how to deal with YouTube, how to grow your business, and um, most importantly, how to be resilient to push through the part where you're seeing nothing. So yeah, expect slow growth. And I mean sometimes exhaustingly slow growth, but trust me, it is so, so worth it. All that slow growth is leading to you, to where you wanna be. You just can't see it yet. The universe is prepping you to where you wanna be. The second thing I learned is that you should probably get a job and not rely totally on pottery or your art making your full income. So I had a decent amount of savings saved up and I live with family, so my expenses aren't very high. But after a while, it can really get to you um, just watching your money just deplete every month because I wasn't making enough to pay for my expenses. So that was stressful and annoying. And then when I burned out in the winter, I took like a couple months off, therefore no income with pottery. And so I was like, ah, I think I just need a part-time job just to ease the stress of money. And it allows you to create more because when you're stressed with money and you need to create, it like doesn't work well. Like you just can't create to the level you wanna create if you're stressed with money. So make sure, make sure your expenses are kind of lined up or just have a way to where that's not as much as a stressful stressor for you because it just makes this so much harder than it needs to. Okay, number three, and it's consistency is the key to growth. You're only gonna grow for how consistent you are. So I stayed pretty consistent to just creating art and making pottery, and I got really good at pottery. Uh, if you look at my stuff a year ago compared to now, it's like light years better. But YouTube, I would say I was not consistent on. I had big gaps throughout the year that I did not create, and I took time off and my YouTube videos still aren't as good as I wish they were because of that lack of consistency. You just have to be consistent to get to where you wanna be. And it takes discipline and it's annoying because there's so many days where you're just not gonna wanna show up and do it. But it's those days that really keep propelling you forward. And I promise you, the more consistent you are, the better you'll get, the easier it is to do. So. Consistency is the key to all of this. And I feel like by me talking about this, I'm kind of learning that areas that I have not been consistent. If I was more consistent, I would be so much better at. So if you're not seeing the growth and the progress that you want, maybe look at how consistent you're being and are you showing up? Because if you aren't showing up and if you aren't doing the work, then you're just not going to see the results. So stay consistent and uh, results will come. They have to come. Okay, the third one is learn to balance your energy. It's going to take a lot of energy out of you to build a business, a pottery business, and then create 
create the art and just everything that goes behind it and you can work yourself to death with this and I struggled at the beginning on how to balance my energy I was trying to put out daily like shorts and reels and make videos every week and also make pottery and it was so exhausting it burnt me out and being burnt out in your first year is very demotivating <laughs> because uh, I had to take two months off this winter because I just couldn't do it I couldn't I didn't have the energy to make any pottery and it sucked and it wasn't fun so I recommend resting artists need way more rest than most people do because it's where we get our creativity and it's just so important for us so incorporate rest into your routines I promise you it may feel useless during it but it's so 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 worth it and if you start to feel burnt out if you feel like you're overworking yourself just stop just slow down try to incorporate more breaks and time off and doing things interesting yeah being burnt out was really demotivating this winter because during burnout it feels like it's never gonna end so you feel like you're never gonna have a creative idea ever again which is just it's not true but it feels that way in the moment so if you can be proactive about rest and recovery and just giving yourself breaks i just highly recommend it because <laughs> the the um consequences are burnout and they're just so not fun and the last thing i want to talk about is challenges you're going to get so many challenges in your first year because you're just learning everything and everything is so new and you're just going to come across so many challenges when you're like you're just gonna be like what is going on why is this happening why is this so much more difficult than it needs to be but i feel like it's just the universe testing you and seeing if you really want to be this if you really want to become a full-time artist are you really up for the challenge and with every challenge it's just growing you so you can be the person you need to be on the next level so you can be that person who is a full-time artist so even though in the moment they're so frustrating or can be so frustrating you just gotta take the challenge maybe take a little break and then get after it fix the problem and then move forward and then with these challenges, just know that you're growing so much as a person. Who I was last year, compared to the artist I am now, is just light years different. I have more confidence, I have more capabilities with the kiln, because I had so many kiln issues this year. You just grow so much with these challenges. So, just remember that there's going to be a ton of self-growth when you go and chase after your dreams. And there's going to be a ton of challenges, but I promise you, it's all worth it so even though i'm not like at the spot i want to be as an artist i have grown so much and i can only see that my path forward is just going to keep on going and my dreams are going to become realized i appreciate you guys watching to the end i'm very excited about this year i feel like i can go into this year with all the things i learned then in the last year and just do better so i can't wait to see what this year has to offer for me and pottery and growth and uh i'll see you guys in the next one peace